Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For years of living dangerously under Joe Biden, Part 2, China and Iran make a deal. Just after Biden's inauguration, I warned of four years of living dangerously under Joe Biden. The weakness of his policies in person are obvious for all to see. The world then watched Joe Biden's first press conference. While the American press fawned over President Biden for partisan reasons, America's chief adversaries, China and Iran, watched for serious geopolitical reasons. They know Biden is weak and his staff naive, and, this week, they did something about it. Here in America, it was the story Americans likely didn't hear about again for reasons of domestic politics. First, it bears repeating that, slowly but surely, since Harry Truman and the dropping of the nuclear bomb that ended World War II, Democrat administrations have issued foreign policy and focused on domestic policies. Butter not guns was the argument they championed following the Vietnam War. In plain terms, Democrat presidents and their supporters are bound and determined to turn the United States into their version of a European social democracy dominated by socialist or semi-socialist policies. That is their main focus. In the process, Democrats have convinced the world that, when they are in power, the United States will be less vigilant abroad. That is a dangerous dynamic because weakness begets provocativeness among our enemies. The story that got little coverage in the United States last week was the budding alliance between the world's two most dangerous countries, China and Iran. China has designs on world domination literally. Just ask them if you haven't watched them or read their public plans. To achieve that, they need to continue their economic growth. To achieve economic growth, they need oil. Iran, the world's leading sponsor of terror, has designs on Middle East domination. They have been quite public about that as well. To do that, they need money. To get money, they need to sell oil. The growing alliance between China and Iran, including the promise for Iran to sell oil to China, should more than concern everyone. While the details were few, which surprises no one given the two authoritarian governments involved, China and Iran signed a 25-year strategic cooperation agreement addressing economic issues. The New York Times reported that China will invest some $400 billion in Iran in exchange for oil as part of the deal. The two countries will also step up military cooperation with joint training, research and intelligence sharing. In short, China gets the oil supply it desperately wants to fuel its ambitions without any concern for the West's obsession with climate change slash global warming. As for Iran, the Times of Israel correctly noted that the deal effectively cripples U.S. sanctions on Iran. With this deal, Iran gets the money it needs to pursue its military ambitions. Certainly, we know from former Democrat President Obama's Iran deal that Iran didn't use the money it secured for domestic charities. Even though I John Kerry admitted some of the money would go toward terrorism. The price tag on this deal, $400 billion, dwarfs Obama's deal, and will set Iran on a clear path to obtaining nuclear weapons likely in less than a decade. In the short run, however, it gives Iran the ability to fund its conventional war operations in the Middle East, which I wrote about in 2015, when Obama's deal was announced, Iran's other victory, the nuclear deal also cemented the regime's conventional war gains. Meanwhile, the world is not even sure who is in charge in the White House. No one can seriously believe that Joe Biden cuts a vigorous figure. To borrow a phrase, the world knew John F. Kennedy and Joe Biden is no John F. Kennedy. Nor is Biden Ronald Reagan or Donald Trump. Biden is not capable of projecting the strength necessary to achieve peace through strength. Beyond that, his foreign policy staff is committed to curtailing American economic might by adopting Green New Deal policies, including returning to the Paris Climate Accord, which plays into China's hands. By self-inflicting economic weakness at home, Biden and the Democrats are limiting the United States' ability to respond internationally and to confront the serious challenge China represents to world freedom. We also know that Biden wanted to make an Obama-style deal with Iran that would have lifted American sanctions and let Iran sell the oil it needs to get the money it needs to realize its ambitions. That was last month's news, however. Iran has a new benefactor the communist regime of China. What will the Biden administration do in response to that incredibly dangerous growing alliance? The likely answer is precious little all of which not only cements our four years of living dangerously under Joe Biden but threatens world stability as far as the eye can see. If you like this video, hit the notification button for more news from Middle East. Thank you for watching.